Hello guys, it's Big Carp Anglers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make boilies. What you're going to need is, and it depends how many boilies you want, I'm only going to show you. So, one, I'm just choosing one egg. And you need three types of flour, and I'll show you. You need cornmeal, you need rice flour and cinnamon flour, and you mix all three of them together. And then you get flour looking like that can see so what I'm gonna do first so yeah you need food flavouring and you can use food colouring as well to make them what colour you want you need egg fork whisk colouring the three flowers mixed together a bowl and I think that's it so let's get started first what you do is smash the egg open I'm going to mix up the yolk and that's the rest as well. So that's all mixed up in there. And then grab your... I've got lemon flavour. Mix it up with it. Then what I want to do is make sure there's no air, air holes in the egg. So see. See. Yeah. What you can do is with your second bowl. I need a little bit. What I'm going to do is move that to the side. Just add, keep adding one egg to so about three little handfuls. Mix it and see what it comes out like. I'm mixing it. Keep mixing. It's got to be like a play dough. You might have to get your hands a bit messy for this. See how it's gone like a dough. Notice that. Let's keep mixing it. These are going to be like white boilies. A bit too much flour, so what I'm going to do is pour a bit more flavour in it. Oily making. This can get tricky at some point. And can make pellets. Um, add a little egg. Keep mixing it now. Till it's 
broke a sticky toy for page. It's not really sticky. If it's extremely sticky, then it will be no good. Because when you roll it in at your hand, it'll just like all stick to your fingers and be like a mash. And you don't want that. And I'm doing this because we might be doing fishing soon, so take a few boilies and be recording that session as well. Smells really nice. And then you mix it all together. If you're a kid, like, and you need you need to use an oven for this. What you need to do is you need to get boiling hot water and you need to put water on the on the top and you get it to the boil. What boil means like where it's bubbling and then you put it put all the boilers in for two minutes, take them out the water and then put take all the water out the boilies and lay them on a towel to dry. Leave them for about overnight. Leave them overnight. In the morning, make sure them all are good. Put them in a bag and freeze them until you go fishing. I suggest if you can go fishing, take them out the day before you go, else they'll be rock solid. Look at that though. Nice and light. Roll the boilie, just as good as that. And then you chuck them. So you make loads of them, put them to the side, make all different ones. So, one there. What you do is put them in the boiling hot water for two minutes. Don't use a kettle and try and cheat it because they, won't, they will not work. Um, put them in for two minutes, make sure you tie me. And then once two minutes is up, get a sieve or something you can dry it out in, pour all the water out, put all the boilies flat, and then it should be good. So I hope this helps you, and I am definitely going to use these. Smelly lemon flavour. <laughs> Smells nice. You'll probably get about 20, 25 out of that big bowl there. But I've still got egg left in there. And I've still got some dough so I could make it bigger. So, just keep working it. The more you work it, the better it's going to be. Keep going. You get kind of like a paste, like a pastry. And that's good. So guys, I'll be back in just two. No, it's this now. Just, just turn my camera a bit. That's what do. Right, mix off. Roll it. You've got your boiler. See if add more egg. Make a well in it if you need more egg. got to keep working it and then when it's like a wet type of play-doh that's when it's okay it needs to be quite sticky so if you push it 
It'll take some time to fall off. Right, uh. So, because if it's too crumbly, what will happen is you'll roll it. And it'll just crinkle, but it's it. notice how I roll that. It rolls into a ball. Look, don't crumble. Now if I get a bit of the dry bit, then watch, roll that. Glinkles. That's what you don't want. So, what I'm going to do is go and get the, all the water on the boil. For you guys, just stay there and when it's on the boil, I'll, like, I'll make another video of this into all the boilies because I've still got to roll them out, yeah? So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it, it learned this summer. And, yep, I hope you make some and try them out. See you later, big carp anglers, tight line wet nets.